sure that you thought of every single possible deduction that would be to your benefit? Now, Jen says chances are probably not. And some of them are going to be different this year. There's <laughs> odd ones, too. That's what we're really going to focus on. Okay. Because lesson learned, they had to go to tax court. They had to go to tax court. And, like, out of several flights, they said two of these are allowable. Abandoned cars. <laughs> like, then you couldn't sell them. And people didn't even want to look at them. So I was fascinated that the IRS said that was cool. Good news uh, for kitties who live near a junkyard. <laughs> and finally, a... I got a junkyard cat. <laughs> <laughs> Not a dog. It's better than, like, a barnyard cat. <laughs> All right, and finally, a swimming pool. What? Yeah, that's what I said. What? That's fascinating. Yeah. All right, Jen, thank you. So a 90-year-old woman in Florida who won a $590 million Powerball jackpot is suing her son over it, saying he cost her millions. I have a test for everybody. Class, okay. get your pencils. Not really. No, um, there's, there's this story about the fact that most of us, apparently, believe all the wrong things about sleep. I love health studies. Comes to sleep. <laughs> if you cannot fall asleep, if you stay in bed, keep your eyes closed, you'll get to sleep. True or false? True, Ooh. true. I know that's false. Cause Something uh, until you like actually fall asleep again. I've done this. I've practiced this advice. But advice. I'm going to say you two as moms, yeah. your parents tell you, you stay in bed. You, you, you go to bed, you close your eyes, you, you sit there. Eyes, that's right. Yeah, because, you know, next Turn thing you know, you're off. crawling the wall. But I see the sun. <laughs> it's morning. No, it it's isn't. very early morning. Go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it should take, it says, NYU Langone Health did this study. It, it should take 15 minutes to doze off if you fall asleep. Before that, did you know you are sleep deprived? I know this subject. Okay, <laughs> hitting the snooze button. Is it helpful? Just is like, time to get up, let's go. Wow. Which is probably why I have trouble sleeping, because my mind is like, <laughs> <laughs> just me. So supposedly hitting the snooze button leads to poor quality sleep for what, the next 10 minutes? <laughs> I don't think so. Thank you. And I am a sleep expert because I don't get any. Boom. Right. Move the alarm Admit further the away is the pro tip, right? <laughs> so if you go chasing it. I every day hit the snooze button. No At least way. once. What's every wrong day. With you on time? Right, but I mean I, I I said it once and I said it twice. I, I know when it goes off. So then technically your body knows that time. Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah. Yeah, Just go drink beer. Ahead. You did it. <laughs> I have been a part of an award show where my friend was told, you must write something in the prompter. My friend just happened to be an eccentric musician. Mm -hmm. You should have seen what was in the prompter. Thank God he did not say it. Oh. <laughs> sometimes it's better to go off from. Yeah. yeah, sometimes not. All right, look what you got coming up in news. You know, this is really important. We've been talking a lot about vaccines, and we want to bust some news myths out there about the safety. Remember we told you yesterday about that anti-vax lawyer for the parents suing New York City for mandating vaccines? He was on the show and here's what he told me yesterday.